Hey, why so for L here? We are going to be creating a top hat in this tutorial. We are just going to model our hat. We're not going to skin it or plug it in game. Uh, you can search Google for uh, top hat to find a basic reference for yourself. So with that said, we're going to go into 3ds Max. I have 3ds Max 2012. And head over to your spleens tab and select the circle. And you can press Alt-W to uh, full screen uh, the selected viewport. And just click and drag and scale it out to your home grid. And you press G if, if you honestly don't want to use that. And the circle that we made is going to be the outside perimeter of our, our hat. So. Now we're going to create the, the top part of our hat, which is basically just a cylinder. And with that second spleen that we just created for the top, hat, top part of the hat, with it selected, press the shift key and drag up on the z-axis. And that what that, that just did was it cloned our spleen that we just created. So we're going to give it some height. And select the first spleen that we created, which, which is the, the outside perimeter of our hat. Press the Shift key and drag up on the z-axis. Clone options. So we're, we're, we're going to clone it as a copy. And with that newly created spleen, which we just copied from uh, our outside perimeter, because we're trying to give our hat a little bit of depth. So with that selected, we are going to copy the Z coordinates. Now select the bottom of the cylinder that makes up the top of our, the, the top of our hat and paste in the Z coordinates. And that just makes sure that these two spleens are on the same z-axis so that we don't get any uh, funny looking shading materials. So that's it. Our hat is just about finished. Select the bottom spleen. And we are going to right click, convert to edit, or uh, convert to NURBS and open the Create Services tab, select U Loft, click on the first spleen, then the second, then the third, and then the top. And that looks okay. It looks like a vase, but, you know, we really didn't do anything. It pretty much created everything for us. But as you can see, we don't have uh, the top part of our hat. So we're going to click back in. And we are, if you remember correctly, we are in the NURB surface because we converted it to a, converted it, it to a NURBS. Open the Create Services tab. And click on Cap. And just click on this, this top spleen. There we go, it already created everything for us. And now we are going to add a edit poly modifier. Edit poly. Select, actually not quite yet, we're going to add a material. So press M to go to the material state. Uh, slate material editor, sorry. Go to standard. Double click. And let's change it to a basic looking brown color. And with our hack selected, we are going to select on Show Shaded Material and Viewport. Assign material to selection because we have the hat selected. There we go. And this brings me to our next step. It, You know, it's kind of hard to figure out what's going on, but uh, the normals are flipped. And we could go through all the settings within the NURB surface, but we can do this a lot faster and 
a lot a lot more uh, painless this way. So go to the element, select every face, edit elements, flip. There we go. And now go to bend, or the modifier list, and select bend. And we are going to bend on the z-axis a little bit. You know, that kind of looks kind of cool. Go to the modifier list, because we want to uh, preserve this bend modifier so that we can adjust it at any time. So edit poly, and we're going to select all the faces, and let's go to bend once again, and we are going to bend on the y-axis. Let's try the z-axis, or the x-axis. And just kind of edit your settings, you know, just kind of bend it however you want to have it. It's kind of kind of goofy looking hat, but I like it. All right. You can press Z to zoom in on any object that you have selected. And I'm happy with that, but as you can see, the bottom of the hat is, uh, there are no faces created. And <coughs> so sele select the object, right click, clone, clone as a copy, a uh, modifier list, edit poly, select all the faces, flip. And yeah, that looks that looks fine. I'm content with that.